Hello and welcome everyone to another Fellow tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about action items in Fellow. So in order to get to the action items section, just hover on over to the left and click on action items. What's nice about this is this is the central aggregated place where you're going to see all of your action items. So these are action items that would have come from your one-on-ones, from your private streams, from your shared streams, from all your meetings, everything in this one central place. So super useful to find it. So the workflow, generally speaking, is that when you get action items from your meetings, from your one-on-ones, what you'll see is that they are located in your inbox over here. So I currently have these five things in my inbox and now I need to do something about them. So what we recommend is that you actually kind of sort these. Uh, so this is the inbox and, and this is where you're gonna start to process things. Obviously you can kind of check things off from here. And what's interesting is if you do check something off from here, it's gonna be checked off in the relevant meeting that it was located in. So it'll be checked off in both places. So it makes it really easy for you. So uh, these two things, I'm, you know, I'm gonna say drag this one to the upcoming section and dra drag this one to the upcoming section as well. Um, so these two things, you know, actually maybe three of them. And, uh, and then what I wanna do is, you know, I'll move that there, kind of prioritize it. And for today, I think the thing that I'm gonna work on next is, is this particular one. So there you have it. This is my today section. I can work on this. And then afterwards, these are the two next things that I would wanna work on. And I can kind of like check these off and complete them as time comes. And when you do, you get this nice little message here that you have nothing else planned for today. Always a good feeling. Now, I just wanna also draw your attention to uh, things at the bottom. So for example, this one, you know, I can do this, but it's not super urgent. So I'm just gonna move this to the later section. I'm just gonna, for the time being, forget about it, but I can always go back to it later. You can obviously always expand and collapse this section. So we make it easy for you to do that. And there's a bunch of other options. So what I can actually do is if you click on this triple dot menu here, there's a bunch of things that you can do here. But one of the ones that I wanna draw your attention to is mark as won't do. Sometimes actions, you know, you've had them for a long time and, you know, frankly, they're just not relevant anymore. So what you can do is you can click on mark as won't do. And then what that happens is that will also go into the same section as completed and won't do, which you can, you can basically see here. But when something is marked as won't do, it just gets crossed off in that fashion. So again, super easy uh, for you to do that stuff, to rearrange items. Uh, but I also want to show you uh, another thing, which is you actually have the ability to add actions here as well for yourself. So when you hover over any particular section, I just want to draw your attention to this plus button. When you click it, it's just going to create a new action item. So for example, review project X material, right? So if I have this, for example, uh, I can press enter and, and it gets saved and I can even give it a deadline if I want. But I want to show you something really interesting, which is you can actually copy this action item to another section. So I can click on this and then I can say copy to and uh, choose any other stream in Fellow to move this action item there. So all it's going to do is it's just going to create a copy of that action item into that other location. So you can have visibility of it in both places. So in this particular case, I'm going to say, move this to, I have a, uh, uh, basically a daily planner. So, and that's a private stream that I have. I'm just gonna click on it and move it there. You know, sometimes what happens is that folks will have some action items that they've written and they wanna bring visibility of that action item into say like a weekly sync or a weekly team meeting. So this is an option for you to do something like that. And uh, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you do copy over an action item in, in just a second. But before I do that, I wanna touch on a few more things. One is that there's the search section here. So if I do search for project, you can see that that gets highlighted. Uh, you know, if I delete that, the rest of the items go away. Uh, the other thing is that there are a few more options here. You can obviously set a due date. Uh, it's 
in this case, it's assigned to me. We talked about Marcus won't do, but you can actually click on move to the other sections. And this is an easier way for you to do that. And of course, if you want to edit the action item, you can click on edit here as well. So now what I want to do is I want to go to that private stream. Remember, we copied this action item into a private stream. And so I want to go and I want to check that out. So if I go to my private stream section in my stream section and I go under private, here's my daily planner. And you're going to notice that there's this new action item that shows up here. And this in particular has this dotted line all over it, which basically tells me that this is coming from another place. You'll also notice this, this icon over here, which also indicates that this came from another location. So if I click on this, you can see, um, you know, some more information about it. And the nice thing is if I check it off here, it actually will also get checked off in my action item section. So again, and if it is checked off, you'll notice that it gets checked off and shows up in the completed section. So there's another thing that we can't really talk about action items without also talking about what it looks like in the streams section. So every stream in Fellow, that's one-on-one -on -one streams, private streams, but also any meeting streams that you have is always going to have an action item section. So let's go to, say, my one-on-one -on -one with Armin. You'll notice that at the top, there is a tab called action items. And if I click on it, you're going to see all the action items that are kind of outstanding from all the notes in that meeting stream. So if it's a meeting from three weeks ago, you'll see it here. As long as it's not done, that's the default. You're going to see those. Now, of course, you have a few options here. You can sort by status, assignee, due date. Uh, and so you can see this information in a variety of different ways. I just want to show you that this also exists if I go to the meeting section. So in the meeting section, for example, I'm just going to scoot on over to a meeting that is a recurring meeting that's been occurring for a long time. And you'll notice at the top, there is an action item tab. And the same thing, if this meeting has been going on for two years, I can click on this and, and see all the actions that are still outstanding. Really great way to hold everyone accountable to do the things that they said that they were going to do. Again, in this particular case, if I sort this by assignee, you're going to notice that, you know, Michael Scott, yep, he's got this one pass to item and it's, it's located there. So that is a basic overview of what the action item section looks like in Fellow. Again, you can find it by going to the action item section over here. And again, all of your action items from all the different meetings that you have are going to be located in this one central place where you can monitor everything and keep track of it all and make sure that you can stay on top of the things uh, that you need to do. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And I hope that you'll check out some of the other videos that we have and really get to know Fellow super well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.